Darren, I know a, a heartbreaking one for you last time out. Uh, I guess talk to me about kind of, you know, I guess that result, what you think maybe went wrong there. Um, you know, Cub's a dangerous guy. He's always got a lot of knockout power. Um, I knew he could catch me like that. It was one of those things. You take a fight against Cub, you know he could catch you. And uh, I just left my defense down for a second. I stood still. I was moving really well. I stopped for a second. I dropped my hand a little bit, and he exploded. It was fast. So um, just, you know, keep my head moving, keep my hands up, just try to work my defense a little bit more. It's been kind of a goal now. Is there any part of you that was like, come on, man, I was just getting started. Have you never watched a Darren Elkins fight before? Um, not really. I mean, I'm, you're right. It, I, could, I probably could have survived there, but I'm not going to – I'm not going to argue with the, the stoppage. It, it probably could have went. I, maybe I'd come back, and you know, I'm a walking zombie over here, but it's not a horrible stoppage. I mean, he, he stopped it. I kind of felt I, I face-planted almost. I caught myself with my hands, but I was obviously rocked pretty hard. So I thought it was a reason, It was a pretty good stoppage. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so talk about, like, in between fights, like you said, what, what you work on. I mean, is it just refining? Because I wonder at this stage in your career, I mean, can you change? Like, it's like, hey, what if we tried an Eminari role next time? Or so, you know what I mean? Would you change? Or is it just let's let's tidy up the little things that we have? Um, no, I, I find it uh, the part that I still love about the game is you can add different things and go from one thing to another game. I mean, if you looked at my career from the beginning, the things I've done there to what I do now is totally different. Um, it's a learning process. You keep on learning. And if I think when you stop learning, you're pretty much done fighting. So um, I enjoy learning new things, working on different things, and uh, just seeing what I can do with myself. Uh, we match up with Tristan Connolly here. Um, one that excites you. I mean, it, it seems like stylistically you guys are going to go do what you guys do. Yeah. I mean, he fights a lot like me. He's going to come forward. Um, he's not afraid to, to stand up. He's not afraid to grapple. He pushes a hard pace. Um, like I said, he fights a lot like me. When I watch him, I'm like, oh, okay, this is going to be a, a fun one. Um, and uh, maybe possibly like a fire night type of thing. If not, I'm fine with that too. I was going to say, do you go into fights thinking, I bet we could get fight of the night? Because normally that means it's back and forth. You probably got rocked a little. Nah, I try not to go into the fight of the night. Now, performance of the night now, that's what I'm like, yeah, I can kind of shoot for performance of the night. But fight of the night – that's when it's like, if it happens, it happens, but I never want to shoot for it. Yeah. Last thing for me, I guess talk to me about the goals at this point in your career, right? Because we know anytime you're on the card, it's going to be an exciting fight. So what do you see as kind of the guiding goal or, or the things that you're trying to accomplish uh, at this point? Um, you know, I own most, quite, a, quite a few of the featherweight records. Um, you know, second most wins, most takedowns, second striking. You know, I'm just trying to up my numbers and uh, maybe break a few more records before I'm done. Um, that's something I've been pushing for and been thinking about a lot lately that, uh, I think I got a couple more years left. You know, I'm, I always say, I don't want to make it to 40. So I'll be th 38 May 16th. So I got a couple more years. That's what I'm shooting for. And, uh, let's, let's really up those records. Um, you're the slight betting favorite in this fight. Is that the kind of thing you pay attention to at all whatsoever? Nah, I never paid attention to that in my whole entire life. I usually like when I'm the underdog. I use I have the most wins as the underdog, so it's nothing I really cared about, you know. Thank you. Yep. Good. All right, thanks guys.